welcome back to my channel. This is Olivia. So it's only a few more weeks until the end of 2018. So I think I want to do uh, a video for my all finished color pages um, that I done from 2015 until now. I don't have a lot of them because I take quite a bit of time off um, I think last year so I only have like a handful but um, I don't really browse them I, I would like to share them to you just in case uh, you see some thing and then you would like me to do um, tutorial for another video so um, we start off with the books that I just done like one page <laughs> dumb yeah such a shame because they all very beautiful book but I only, I only have done only one so the first one is forest girl coloring book by Apple and I only just got this one recently um, I think last month so I only done one page in this one this is very very beautiful book like you see the illustration is absolutely lovely um, and the paper quality is amazing too it takes and um, the tooth they have like a slide tooth for your pencil to lie down so you can do quite a bit of layer so this is the pipe that I did for this one and then she have like a you know like a, the one that she already done in her color if you have a hard time like picking color so you can you know just follow the color there but I did it um by using my own ballet so for this page I done with polychromo the fiber castell polychromo and for the background um, I use fiber castell Albert Durer so if you don't know what fiber castell polychromo is this is the polychromo this is the artist range they different from the Fabio Castell classic all right um, I don't have them in my page I just put them in another place and the artist um, watercolor aperture is this one um, I love Fabio Castell sorry and I really like how this page turns out so that is forest girl. Next, I have romantic country, the second tale uh, by Eric. And I really love her style. I I seen this book for like a long time, um, but I just got this book recently as well. I think I got it like two months ago. Um, haven't have a lot of done in here I only have one page and mm, I don't I like the illustrations a lot but the paper quality is um, I mean it's thick but the tooth of the paper is not very great it's very smooth so you cannot really do a lot of layer with them but I did this um, red moon page for Halloween this year uh, I'm quite happy with how this turns out, but I have such a hard time, you know, blending the colors and um, layer them. So uh, it's not very fun for me, but I'm glad I finished it and it, it looks really nice. I like it. Um, I just started this one, but not finished yet. Uh, hope I can go back to this book 
once I find a um, suitable medium for for them. The next book is Four Seasons by Aiko Fukawa, and this is such a beautiful and so cute. I, I never see anyone use it, and I'll, there is picture, but most of it from um, you know Japanese colorists. Um, I don't think they're very popular with Western people. Uh, you see, like they is so pretty. Like the illustration is just so cute and and different too. It's not like the same with other book. Um, so if you would like me to do a flip through on this book for this book, um, just leave in the comment and I will do a flip through. The, the paper is quite thick as well, as you can hear. Um, but again, um, it's have a slight tooth. It's not too bad. I, it's not too bad of the tooth, but you know, it's still quite smooth for my liking. Um, so I I got that book a long time ago, but because uh, I have other new book, I haven't got back to it yet. So I did this page. Um, pretty sure last year uh, with Fibocasto Classic, you know the student range. Um, Forty, I got forty eight color at the start. I only have like the classic one, and that's my first set of pencil. Um, and I think they sell at Costco Australia for. 48 for 12 dollar it's really fairly cheap and so and it lights out quite nice um, and I really like how this one turns out I like how I did the um, you know the cactus here no I think it's called succulents isn't it yeah so I'm really happy with it hope I can like go back to it sometime in the near future Next one is The Magical City by Lizzie, Ga Lizzie Mary Gillen. And I bought this book because I saw Peter Hewitt did this page and it's so beautiful. Like her coloring is beautiful. So I was like, oh, I, I, I've been wanting it for a while. So my husband just got it for me. I think. Um, a couple months ago uh, when it's on sales and I it's not the same color with Peter Hewitt but it's very similar and um, with dough and ink tents um, I think the dough and ink tent is very popular between colorists uh, but if you don't know this is a dough and ink tent it's a it's like a ink ink um, like an acrylic ink in form of pencil and then you color it and then you dissolve it. Um, the color very nice and vibrant and you know beautiful. So I've done it with that one. Um, really happy with how this turns out. Uh, so I hope I can go back to do some more in this one soon. I say that with every book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the next one is Ferris in Wonderland, another book that I don't see um, very popular among colorists, but one of my favorite books and I really like it. I, the thing is, the book that I like, the paper is not very great, like this one, the paper is so, so smooth. It's so hard for you to like put a lot of layer on them, especially if you use polychromo. They don't like polychromo very much in this paper. But uh, I found that Prisma color they quite like it. So like you see, this is Fairy in Wonderland by Mako Chin. I think he has a mermaid one and elf one as well. Um, it's a very cute book. I like his style of drawing. Look at that, the fairies. You know, the fairy is so different than other people, like how they draw usually. 
and I think it's really quite quirky and beautiful. Look at that strawberry fairy. I should have done this page. It looks beautiful page. Um, so I did two of the fairy. Um, I got this book a while ago when uh, I go to um, warm uh, no big W big W oh my god I don't I don't remember <laughs> yeah it's up like either big W or Kmart uh, in Australia and they sell this book for five dollar five dollar so cheap at that time um, so I pick it up and I color in this fairy I color this fairy two years ago <laughs> with my Fabul Castell classic so of course the the color is not very vibrant but um, I really like how the the page turned out and I like how her wings and stuff yeah but then I didn't like how the color lay down so I I wait until I got the Prisma color so this one is I done this year, um, the the beginning of this year I think. Yeah, this one Prisma color and this one with the budget pencil classic, like the Fabul Castell classic. And as you see, they the Prisma color is beautiful on this paper, and it's such a nice vibrant color. So I really like it. So I go back in with another beige. Um, this is a, uh, I call her Rainbow Fairy because I make, I make her like, you know how she made the rainbow out of the spider web. And she's sitting on like a snail, sunflower sort of thing. And I make her hair like a white shiny. And I really love how this one turns out. And I think I will hopefully uh, go back for some, for more for this book. So the next book is Imagine Morphia by Kirby Rosens. Everybody know this book? I have all three of his books, all the, all the first three. Um, but I will like color this one a few pages. Uh, so I did the name page. I did this two years ago when I first got my Prismacolor uh, and I don't really understand how to use them at that time um, so it turns out quite a mess <laughs> but uh, now I look at it I, I don't mind it but uh, oh well and the second page I did in this book is the seashells um, and you, this take me forever to finish I think it take it took me about two weeks uh, not like everyday work but like about two weeks I, I, I color it like probably three three four times a week and uh, using I use polychromo for this one and the background is a soft pastel so if you're curious about what brand I use for my soft pastel, this is the pastel brand that I use. It's a Korean brand, Munkyo. Um And I quite like them. They, they're cheap. They're not expensive. Um, have beautiful uh, color collections. I, I kind of like how this page turned out really brown of this of course so you can look closer all the detail <laughs> okay so that's the imagine more here now we go with we go to the hardcover coloring books uh, the first one is daydream by Hannah Calzone uh, I kind of refer this hardback 
nail today because they are like a smaller size compared to other coloring books and it's take me quicker to finish and the paper is really beautiful of course the illustration is just amazing so I did the little mushroom I did the little mushroom for the first page and I I did um, the name page remember how I told you all my bus is blue this, this is blue and, and remember um, earlier I show you if you go back you can see uh, in the four season book my, my little two bus is blue as well <laughs> so this one I use the polychromo and I think for this page I, I done it all while ago I just start to you know to get myself used to uh, Hannah Cow's own style um, so I, I I really happy with how this turned out still still one of my favorite page I done in this one the second page I did is uh, it's like how you side this like a garage uh, and um, I did with again polychromo um, I think about during this time I only have polychromo um, the fiber cast of polychromo so uh, I I was just learning how to use them and uh, the background I did with uh, you know the Fibro Castell Classic, I use a black one and I did the light layer and then I use, um, it's called, uh, I think it's called Art, it's an art pen, it's the na the, I don't remember the name, but it's a, it's a watercolor, water base marker and then I just put it on top, so make the background a bit darker another one from this book this is uh this is, i done this one is only one day um i was at the the library and um i said like, oh, um i just color some you know, I just color in a little bit while at the library waiting for my husband and I did this one in like I don't know four hours um, this one is supposed to be of course when you do coloring book is nothing is supposed to be something you can just go wild with it but in my head when I look at it it look like a sunflower and um, but I don't want to do like yellow sunflower so um, I got to Pinterest and I saw they have the the black color sunflower so I did this one black and I really really like how this turned out um, yeah really happy with that page the next page that I did recently Um, this I done for Katrina um, if you know she passed away a um, couple months ago and it's, it's just sad you know um, she's such a talented colorist and um, I never really talked to her but um, I heard about her and oh, it's make me sad because I think she's about my age as well. Um, I really have this patient now. Uh, I use a combination of polychromo and Prismacolor. I think at this time I have my Prismacolor now. So I sort of this this uh, combinations and the background I use uh, Derwent Ink Tents for the background. And I really ha like how this one turns out. Um, 
the next one from Hanna Calzone is Summer Night. I haven't done a lot in here, but I did uh, a few. I got, I did my grass shopper, grass hopper. Um, I think I started this page with this flower. Um, and I bought uh, using I think I start this flower with the Prisma color. Uh, at the start, I don't have the full set of Prisma color. I just want to try them out because you know I saw everyone using them, and I go to my local art store and I just pick up a few of them in the same color family. I pick up a lot of blue and a few pink one. Uh, so I try to do this flower pink and blue just you know try to get used to them I leave this page just with two color two two flower for like almost more than a year and then I just go back um, I think this year to finally finish it so uh, completely done with Prisma color and the background is a soft pastel background I use soft pastel background a lot because it saves time and it looks really nice as well. Um, the next page, I just did this page, pretty sure last month, last month or two months ago. And I did, you can see like how my style of color changed a lot. Even with my um, color choices, I go a little bit more natural and uh, <coughs> darker tone so this one i use polychromo only polychromo and uh, the background is double intense and the white gel pen just to make it like it rain so i really really happy with how this one turns out one of my favorite pages and the last one i did this one um this year or last year I'm, I'm not really sure this is my first ever skin color and i don't know what i'm doing i seriously don't know what i'm doing you see it patchy and uh just look funny oh i use i think i use a combination of polychromo and the prisma color um for her face i think i only use prisma color and this flower is with polychromo and the ground is with prismacolor and her hair is with prismacolor i think but not too not too bad for for first skin color i am a say i quite proud that one i still like her next book i have from hannah calzon is magical dawn very popular book again hannah calzon book is very well known in um, the coloring community so for this book I, uh, I did this page as a um, body color with <coughs> crayon style pencil crayon pencil style or oh, pencil crayon style <laughs> I don't remember. sorry uh, I don't remember exactly her Instagram um, yeah, I did this one a while ago. Um, you should definitely check her Instagram out. Is it she? Her coloring is amazing. Um, I will put her link down the description box. And um, for this page, I did this pink flower with a uh, prisma color. This blue one with the polychromo, um, and the background. I use the uh, watercolor Fab Fabio Castell uh, Albert Dura. At the start, uh, again, uh, every time when I want to try like a new medium, I don't buy the whole set. <laughs> I just, you know, buy a few. I think I got about four, four or five of the, you know, like a two uh, green and yellow colors so I can blend them together so I tried it on this background and I really like how this page turns out so that 
is this is the second one I think this one uh, yeah sorry I this this one as a um, limited palette we're gonna use two purple uh, two green and kind of like a dark teal color so and the gray as well I think um, not really like how this page turned out at all. I think I've kind of failed. Uh, yeah, not really like it. And then I go back in with the, the black background. And you know how it's a bit shiny? Uh, that one I use the metallic watercolor by Kureta King. Um, the sterry color set. Um, I think other people in the group use the Kaleros, um metallic color but oh, it's so expensive for me I don't have the money to buy it so um, this one is a much cheaper option and it's look really nice too so I just got that one and the next page from this one also the last page is the moth lady and this is the second time I did skin color um, a little bit better I must say but uh, still not so good because uh, I think I overdone her cheek a little so what I use I use a combination of polychromo and prismacolor um, I like how her lace turns out I do the purple hair yeah overall is I like the color scheme a lot and the um, the background again as you can see is very similar to this color here it just uh, I did like more teal blue this time than this one this one I would do more yellow um, because I again I only have like five of the Albertura Fabric Castell that time so I just try to get used to them and that is Magical Dawn The next one I'll show you is from Maria Trolley Nightfall. Um, I love her book. I love her style. It's very nice. Um, again, bluebirds <laughs> and um, uh, it's kind of like similar theme. Of the color that I use for the background in other um, in the magical dawn because again it's the uh, Albertura. So this one I done with Prismacolor. Yeah, I think I done with Prismacolor. Very simple page because I think this one is the first page um, in Maria Trolley book that I try to get used to her style. Then this one. Um. I don't know if you can see probably it's it look like it really bright in the camera but um, this one I did with the Prismacolor and the background I use the Mungyo soft pastel again oh my god this one I, I really upset about this one for a long time because as you see, I mess up her face. Um, I think I want to give her freckles, and then um, some of the, I think the the black, the black um, fire liner is not dry enough, and then I smudge it, and then I try to fix it, and I, I make it worse. Um, I'm so sad about this one, but it's okay. It's, hmm. What's done is done. <laughs> so this page I use Prismacolor only. Um, very, I quite like how this page turned out to be honest. Um, you see this little one here? I think at the start, it, let me just zoom it in. So this little fella, um, I think Maria draw him as uh, 
squirrel. I think it's a squirrel or something like that. But then I was like, uh, it looked kind of funny. I don't know what color I'm gonna use for it. So this one, if you watch Chipley, Chipley Studio is a Japanese uh, animate company. You will know what this is. Well, who this guy is. Let me know in the comment if you realize who is he. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I doubt anyone would know because I don't think a lot of people watched um, Japanese animate. But yeah, uh, I think that's all of this book that I've done so far. Yes, so that is that one. Next, I got her second book is the Trailer Garden. Actually, which book is her first? I don't remember. I don't buy this book when it's first come out, so uh, I don't remember the, the order of them. So the first page I did is this flower red. Flower red. Um, I try to make them um, kind of galaxy color and use polychrome. No, this one is with Prismacolor. And I really like how this page turns out too. Uh, the next one I did is this simple flower here. And for this page, I use Darwin Artist the trail set so this set I got two years two three years ago when I won in the competition in the like you know the coloring group in Australia and I, I just don't know how to use it because it's behave so different than um, polychrome or, or, or prismacolor they're quite hard pencil so you need to have a lot of patience with them. this color I manage to achieve them by a lot of light layer blending on top of each other and I think it turns out really really nice I, I like how it turns out I'm really happy with how this one um, and I think I will try to use the the one artist more and then I will maybe do a tutorial for you on just a little tip and trick to how to use them more effective because I don't think they are I don't think people really like this Darwin Artist brand so next page I just done it a couple weeks ago another bluebirds <laughs> ah, okay I did completely with polychromo go back to my favorite pencil um, I go back to them a lot because it's just you know I really like how they lay it down and it just suits with my style of color so and you see like how the uh, I don't know if you can see it yeah the bird is shiny the little leaves go like is shiny uh, that I use a uh, the curator key Kuretaki. and I really love how this one turns out uh, you see like how my style of color changes a lot during the year and like these pages I go crazy with gel pens you know like just for sparkles and stuff but slowly I I, I don't use them as much because I want you know the light from it made from the actual um, pencil color so I leave the white and stuff like that so I really like how this page turns out and one of my most favorite page is this I love love coloring fruit uh, I don't see a lot of coloring book that have just fruit in it but I just love coloring them and I have so much fun coloring in the apples and the flowers um, I use uh, polychromo for this one I think polychromo and prismacolor and then the background 
I did use the double ink tents. Uh, I got a little bit more hang of the color, so I I brave and I, I go in with the dark kind of color now, and then I do a little bit, you know, a lot of these uh, water drop. And I really like how this paste turns out. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. And that is all my uh, pages that I done in Maria Trolley Ball. Now we will go with the John Hanna Lasfers, the most famous car uh, artist for coloring book that I have ever known. So I will start with Lost Ocean. I think this is even now. Um, I haven't gone back to this book for a while, but I this is one of my favorite books because I really, really love to color um, fish and like just ocean theme uh, in general. Um, but uh, of course, I see other books that have ocean theme as well, but um, I think the illustration, the style of illustration is not really fit with uh, my liking. So I really like this book from Johanna Basfors. I done a lot in this one. Um, not a lot, but like more than other books. So I think this is my first ever page. Uh, this is my first book that I ever got. My husband got me the Lost Oceans and the Fibro Castell Classic uh, from Costco. Mm, uh, as you see, I enjoy the coloring quiet uh, light. So, so I did this one with the Fibro Castell Classic and uh, mm, the background is with as soft pastel but i use a different brand of soft pastel back then is a little bit more um dull looking color but uh i, I still love this paint is it's not bad and uh this little bubble i use a uh, oil pastel so that's my first page this is my name page <laughs> that is my real name. Um, if you look at my real name, tell me um, if you if you can guess where I'm come from. <laughs> so this one again, I done with the um, Faber Castell Classic, and I, I didn't do this book in order. Like at the start, I want to do them in order, but then I was like, nah. And um, I start this one. Uh, this one when I first got the polychromo, I just wanna see how it feel in the paper. So I just do a little bit of pieces in here uh, for this one. This is my. This is a challenge that my husband gave me. Um, this is the polychromo. Yes, the fiber caster polychromo. And he only gave me three pencil. Yeah, I only have three pencil. The kind of light uh, magenta and the dark, darker shade of it, and the yellow. So I just this page using that, using those three, and then I go in with the the soft pencil, but like similar color to it, and I did. The background and actually I really like how this page turns out for some reason uh, of course it's not like blue ocean team but uh, it's not too bad and I, I like it and the next page I done is uh, this one uh, also with Fabio Castell Classic and salt pastel for the background have a lot of fun with this one. Um, you know, just try to mix them and create like new kind of 
color palette and stuff. Um, I really like how this pie turns out. Still one of my favorite. And this is one of my most proud. I'm really proud of this page because, uh, as you can, yes, you know, the Fibercaster Classic Pudget pencil they don't, they only blend up to a certain level and they don't blend anymore and it's really hard to you know blend the um the background together and they hard so you have to put quite pressures on them and it take you forever it taking me forever to do this page but i am so happy with it i do like this this one like a galaxy theme and i'm really happy with it um See, now you can see that even you don't have expensive pencil, you still can get a very good result with them. You don't have to get expensive pencil at all. Um, again, Fabio Castell Classic. I only have Classic at that time and this book is the first one I got, like I said. Uh, so, they're all done with that one. Um, again, Classic, Fabio Castell Classic and the background i think i fight a lot now but uh, it was a multicolor uh, bubble yeah i think i use uh, oil pastel photos and this one again paper pastel classic this one um, I did use Sharpie. You know, you know the Sharpie, Sh Sharpie marker. And you think, oh shit, it's gonna bleed, right? But no, it's not bleeding. This paper, how good is this paper? Um, uh, but I must clarify that I use this one. Um, you know the metallic set of the marker, and it's not bleed at all. Uh don't use other like normal f color because it will bleed definitely it will bleed but this one i uh, i use a i think like, is this a bronze or the gold of the metallic set you know they come in three colors silver bronze and gold or copper or something yeah so i like how this page turns out well take me a while because it's so busy uh, next page is the top of page um, again Fabio Castell classic and uh, soft pastel for the background uh, fairly simple page to do um, really relaxing for me because I don't have to think too much about the color I choose I really like how this one turns out the next way I did is this little jellyfish here. Um, this one is with Fabio Castell Polychromo. I think this one, I, uh, yeah, Fabio, uh, I'm not sure. Fabio Castell Polychromo? I think so. Um, and the background is a pastel. The this one, this one is a uh, pencil as well. The purple is um, polychrome as well. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with how this one. I still like that jellyfish a lot. And uh, oh my uh, my goldfish, I don't really like it. how it turns out. I try to make um, you know how the stainless steel window look uh, and I think it turns out okay I'm not really drilled about it I think I use a fiber castell classic for this one um, yeah nothing I don't have much to say about this it's very early day so I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> and another double page from this pool um, I start off with the coral reef in the middle and I was thinking I do like just a 
gray scale of one side and then I go the uh, and I go into color the other side um, but then I was like ah screw it because it's get boring you know like she's just doing black and white and gray I don't want to do black white and gray I want colorful because it's C um, so it's only have this coral reef and then I add the rest of it is I add, added into it and see how busy it is but I have so much fun doing this page <laughs> and I still I still like it I have so much fun doing it um, I use a polychromo uh, Prismacolor polychromo and look look at my turtle it's so pretty it's, he's nice I just zoom in so you can see all the detail that is my turtle uh, don't know what the fish are but I, I saw them uh, in real life and some diamond <laughs> oh my god it's, it's so funny that I've done so much with this page I haven't done two type of jellyfish that's it, the first jellyfish and this one <laughs> So that is the top of page. Next, I done this one using uh, polychromo. Yeah, now I have polychromo at this time now, and then I go, I do like a blue lobster in the middle and uh, the cook lobster. <laughs> is that true? Like you know the when the lobster is cooked, they turn red. So. <laughs> The alive in the middle and all the sacrifice lobster <laughs> around him <laughs> giving him life um, uh, just kidding so uh, polychromo and the background is a uh, soft pastel and my most favorite page that I have ever done in this book is this scrap page and as you can see I have loads of fun of like making the color for them, uh, choosing the color combinations, and then I did the background using only salt pastel and gel pen. That is how simple it is. Oh yeah, and I use a little bit of a uh, pencil just you know, you know, like shading them, make it more like dimensional. Um, leave me in the comment. If you would like me to do a tutorial on how to do the waves like this, and I will do with another page. So this is another double page from this book. Take me ages to finish it. I think I start a few fish um, last year, and then I just like, nah, it take me too long. I don't want to do this. Uh, but then I go back with this year, and I finish it eventually. And I use a similar technique of you know how you do the background on the other side to make the waves. They're very simple, believe me. Uh, I really like how this page turns out too. This is my one of my first page. Um, I done this red in uh, Fabio Castell Classic again. Uh, I draw her in myself and also with the Fabio Castell Classic. Um, yeah, let's party. Look, look at her. Look at her finger. I'm not very good at drawing finger. She look funny. And what is wrong with her back? <laughs> uh, I'm not very good at drawing that time. Oh well. Um, so I draw her. And the background is soft pastel. This purple is uh, oil pastel. Say, and this page is a little bit newer page. Uh, I done this one with um, polychromo, and I did the wood background again soft pastel and the Johanna Stettler fire liner. That's what I used uh, for the wood grain. And I really like how I did the bubble in this one. So if you want me to do a tutorial 
on how to do this bubble. Uh, just leave me in the comment again. That's how they look. I'm really happy with that page. I think that's all the pages I did in this book. The next, I get I have magical jungle. Another John Hanna basketball book. I did the first page. Uh, I think this one I did with Prisma color and uh, soft pastel for the inside. Main page, polychromo. Uh, and I try to do, you know, I I feel I feel sad that I don't get the seeing other people got the book from Johanna and she, you know, how she do their name on her signature um, leaves and leaves and flower style. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna do it myself. So I did it myself. <laughs> it's not good, but uh, it's so bad. And then I did this page, uh, polychromo again, polychromo, nothing special about it, polychromo, soft pastel, usual, bluebirds, I cannot stop with bluebirds, what is wrong with me, there's another kind of bluish bird here, oh well at least that one is different because it's it's a parrot <laughs> and I just started uh, this post uh, last night uh, on how to do as a night nighttime chat nighttime talk sharing my thoughts on a lot of things and uh, you know just color away um, I will upload that video soon so just keep an eye out for it. Arjun Hannah's Christmas. So this one I done. Uh, I think I did it last year. Uh, the name page with polychromo. Uh, last year as well, uh, polychromo and soft pastel. I don't really like how this one turns out, but okay. That's not too bad. And then I did this year the polar bear. Polar polar bear. You know that song? Is that is that what it's called? Polar polar bear, there's love everywhere. Welcome everyone. There is much more to share. Yeah, that's the song. <laughs> okay, I'll stop singing now. Um so I this this one with uh, polychromo and soft pastel for the shining moons and a little bit of watch here pen. look my body is not blue what is going on oh my god so that's the page this one i started mm, last year L last year or two years ago i'm not sure but uh, i haven't finished them yet because I don't feel like I feel a, a little bit on this page too, but not finished. And I have this this page, this double page. Uh, you can find the um, tutorial for this one. So I did this one at the start, and then a lot of people like you know ask people if they want to see me do a tutorial on how I did this one, and they say yes. Yeah, so I did with this page. I just zoom it in so you can see. There you go. You see this one. And you follow me, you'll get similar page like this. So the next book I got here is the Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Um, very nice book. I my friend got this for me. Um, but now she's not here no more. Um, she is only best friend I don't have a lot of friends um, and I, I'm not very good at socialize as well so um, but she's uh, she moved away now so I'm all by myself um, so she gave this to me and I really like it but it it already broken do you see that 
how I'm, I'm so disappointed with the quality um, but anyway uh, I did the name page with polychromo and soft pastel just for a little highlight effect um, next one is Ivy um, I think I did this one with polychromo and prisma color together uh, I did like a rose gold kind of color for this one uh, quite happy with how that page turns out this page here with polychromo only and the soft pastel I like how this one turns out it's look cute um, so next one is this page I just done it a couple months ago so you see like my wood like how I do the wood is differently now uh, and if you want me to share how I did the wood grain just again leave them in the comment and then I will uh, show you this is fairly simple like really simple not nothing hard about it um, and I draw in the inside make it look like you look through the forest I done this one with polychromo and prisma color together. Next one is this page. Oof. I done very colorful. Uh, this one I done with the Great ITPL. Uh, they say artist collection, but it's not artist. It's budget pencil. So you got uh, the thirty set for. Nine dollar, nine or ten dollar, I think, and they are really nice. They, they, they are not chalky, but um, how do I say? They are quite soft and easy to blend, but a little bit chalky, like just a tiny bit. The texture, uh, but I really love their blue collections. Uh, the pink and the purple, and the orange is quite nice, and the green is quite nice. Yeah, I really like how this one turns out. See how pretty that is. Uh, so, I like my patch pencil. They, they are good. <laughs> so I got that one from Aldi. Like a special thing they sell in every week. So I, uh, that's one of the things the special. So I think that's it. Uh, I don't have any more. And I will and the last one is was a flower. I just got this for two weeks ago. I haven't done much in here. I only did this page. So I did the flower with polychromo. All of them is with polychromo. And I draw the inside. But not finished yet. Um that's not that one for tutorial soon. But uh, well, nothing done in this book. Shame of me. Ah, it's just hard for me to find time to color because I have other stuff to do too. So that is all my finished color pages that I have done in my uh, on and off three years coloring, and uh, I have a few more color pages but is as a pdf and uh, i color it and i give away to uh, my neighbor as uh, you know christmas or birthday presents and stuff so i don't have them anymore um so that's it for today and i hope you enjoy you know walk through all my finished page with me if any thing that you like me to do uh, a tutorial um, in the future uh, just pop it in the comment section and you know we will eventually I will eventually like do the video about it uh, and thank you so much for watching um, I will see you soon bye